Hey everyone. I didn't know I was gonna be in this one. You are. I'm excited. Cause you're here. I love this video. You already. love it, we haven't even started. We haven't even told them what we're talking about and you already love it? Yeah, cause I know what we're gonna talk about. Well why don't we tell them what we're gonna talk about? No, you tell them what we're talking about. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How I feel. This is why you don't give me coffee. <laughs> welcome to the boardwalk and welcome to the larger area known as the Epcot area of resorts. Today we're gonna to talk to you about why this is a great place to stay and one of our favorite places to stay when visiting Walt Disney World and why you should consider it. I think it's one of the best. I do too. Actually, I think it is the best personally. Yes. But that's just me. And we're gonna tell you why we think that. Yeah. So let's get going. Let's go. So the Epcot area resorts are located between Hollywood Studios and Epcot. They're like right outside World Showcase in Epcot and they're just a short walk to Hollywood Studios, which means they're walking distance to two of the theme parks here at Walt Disney World, two. And I wanna say this though, cause I know I can already hear you guys, I can hear you contemporary lovers, and I agree with you. The distance from the contemporary to Magic Kingdom is very short. However, but that's only one park. That's one park, and the distance is even shorter from Beach Club in particular to Epcot. That's true. Which is the only reason why I think Contemporary is the contender as the secondary to these Epcot area but resorts. But that's not what we're talking about not today. today. We're today. talking about the Epcot area resorts. So like I said, two parks are walking distance and you have the most modes of transportation available to you at these resorts. So of course you have buses, which will take you to Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, as well as Disney Springs. And then you have the friendship boats as well as the Skyliner that'll get you to Hollywood Studios and Epcot. So it's really easy to get around these resorts. It's really easy to enjoy all of these resorts. And that's one of the reasons that we love them because there's so much to enjoy. For example, right here behind me, we have the Atlantic Dance Hall. This is a dance hall, a nightclub, where you can get drinks and dance. Now I know it's not the most hip, it's not the most fantastical of nightclubs, we really don't have those here at Walt Disney World anymore, but it is an available option, and it's right here, walking distance from every one of these resorts. Which, by the way, we're talking about the Swan, Dolphin, Swan Reserve, Yacht Club, Beach Club, and the boardwalk. There's also Disney Vacation Club Villas at the beach club and at the boardwalk. So, I mean, so many options. So much. I, I'm sorry, there's just so many options. And then if the Atlantic Dance Hall is not your cup of tea, Jelly Rolls, right across from it, could be. Now Jelly Rolls is a dueling piano bar. This is one of those places where you can come get drinks and listen to live music. Lots of fun, I mean, a great way to wrap up your evening, at least in my opinion. Both these places open into the wee hours of the morning, by the way. Now we're gonna continue walking our way down the boardwalk now. And it might not look like much is going on, that's because it's early in the morning, but this place comes alive at night with live performances, just like you'd see on a stereotypical boardwalk anywhere else in the world. We saw some great performances. I'll pop some pictures in here for you but it's a great place to hang out in the evening. Lots of fun. They even have carnival games. Another thing I really love about the resorts in this area, and this area in general, is that there are a number of places to just sit down, relax, unwind, and enjoy the day. So right now we're sitting in this shaded area over at the boardwalk, but there's also the beach over at the Yacht and Beach Club, and then there are the benches over in the boardwalk as well. Lots of area to just sit and relax. It's it's a great way to spend the day, whether you're staying here or not. In fact, if you wanna come over here and enjoy the day, maybe you need a stroller, wheelchair, ECV, they actually have stroller, wheelchair, and ECV rentals right here at the boardwalk, located in the same area that the Surrey bikes are available for rent. Now, they are not the same as the Disney strollers. They're different types of strollers altogether, and the pricing is different. So that's just something to make note of, but it's still here and available for you to enjoy, which makes this area easier to explore no matter who you are. And it's an entire environment all its own, which I think is pretty cool. Now we keep talking about the resorts in this area. If you choose to stay in this area, you do have a number of options at a number of different price points. At the Walt Disney World Resort Hotels, these are in the deluxe and DVC category, which means they're gonna be a bit more expensive, but quite frankly, I think that they are worth it. They're in such a prime location that it's just, I mean, you can't go wrong, but 
that doesn't fit everyone's budget. But we also have some more affordable options over at the Swan Dolphin and Swan Reserve. Swan Reserve's a little bit more pricey than the other two, but you can definitely find some more affordable accommodations over there with the deluxe perks and no deluxe pricing. I've also said in the past that I really do think that the quality of those resorts is fantastic. I don't know if that holds up today. We'll probably have to go back there again. It's been a little while since we've had a room over at the Swan. You can check out those videos on the channel. We also need to stay at the Swan Reserve and the Dolphin, so we're adding it to the list. But anyway, the point is, you have some options that are available to you at different price points if you want to stay in this area. Of course, because the Skyline is right here, you can also enjoy a number of other resorts and still have the perks of being in this area. You won't quite be as close. There'll be an extra step in taking the Skyliner to get here, but it does open up the possibility of staying at the Riviera, Caribbean Beach, Art of Animation, and Pop Century. So, lots of options. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away from all this. In fact, the Skyliner is how we're actually making our way out today, though this is the path to Epcot. You have your own entrance here at the International Gateway. You get here by boat. Like I said, lots of transportation options for these resorts. So much right at your fingertips. And that about does it for our little tour, just a really brief one of the Epcot area resorts. We hope that this gives you an idea of why we love these resorts so much and why we think that this is such a great area in terms of where to stay when you're choosing a resort here at the Walt Disney World Resort. We think this is a great area and we think you'll think it is too. So if you agree with us, if you think that this is a great place to stay, a great area you might wanna enjoy, hit that thumbs up. Tell us about it in the comments. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There are so many different things that we have to explore and tell you about, and we can't wait to do just that. But I think that wraps it up for today. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye, Bye. everyone.